Do you believe in karma? There's a book called Living Wabi Sabi that I, is a book that I really love. It's a small book. It's one that you can read in an hour or two, but the, the contents of the book are very powerful, very important, and it goes in alignment with this idea of karma. So karma is the idea that what you put out into the world will come back to you and that everybody gets whatever it is that they need in their life to help them grow and help them become their highest and best selves. And so I, I work with a lot of parents who struggle with their kids. And I find this in myself too, and not only with my own children, but in other clients that I work with and children that I work with I start to notice certain patterns. So if there's certain clients that I struggle with, the problem is usually with me. Let me say that again. If there's clients that I have a hard time with and that I struggle with, oftentimes the problem is with me. So those people in our lives, oftentimes our children, they're in our lives to push our buttons, to trigger us, to show within us areas where we have blocks, where we have darkness. And when we have those moments of frustration, of anger, of shame, of embarrassment, whatever that is, notice that the emotion is within you. It's not something that they gave you like, here's an apple pie. No, it's something that they did. Oftentimes, they don't even mean to do it. They don't recognize what they're doing, but we get irritated. I get annoyed. I find myself struggling and wondering, why, why isn't this person moving? Why isn't my son cleaning his room? Why, isn't, why are they yelling? Why are they upset? And if I pause, take a deep breath, look in within myself and say, okay, why does this trouble me? What is it about myself that I'm not wanting to see that's troubled? And if I look inward, I can find areas of myself where maybe I have limiting beliefs. Maybe if I've had an experience in the past that I haven't fully resolved. Well, now I have the opportunity to learn from that experience. Now I have the time to let go and heal from that experience. And so wherever you are in your life today, whatever that you find that's troubling you, I invite you to look inward, to find the lesson that you are being taught, to release any energy that's blocked within you that's asking to be released, and to be kind to yourself. And to those people who are triggering you or upsetting you, see them as messengers, people who are giving you gifts to help you learn and grow so that you can live life to the fullest, so that you can live in alignment with your purpose. Because you are a miracle, you do have a purpose, and there's hope for you, and there's hope for your life. And so remember, I'm here at Hope to Cope every day, checking in to give you a message of hope to help you cope with whatever it is that you're going through. Sometimes you see random stuff running past me in the back. You've got my sons, you've got the dogs, all sorts of things. But I'm here for you every single day to give you a message of hope, to remind you that you are a miracle, that you have a purpose. Mm -hmm.